Hi, this is Quick News for Monday, the 10th of February 2020. The Southeast Governors Forum on Sunday disclosed that it has written the federal government on its plan to establish a regional security network. In a communique issued at the end of the meeting of the forum at Enugu Government House and read by the chairman of the forum, Anebohin State Governor Engineer Dave Umai, disclosed that the operation was bettered before Amoteku in the Southwest, stressing that it would soon get the legal backing of the Houses of Assembly in the Zoom. The forum announced that the new name for the network would be unveiled later, adding that its headquarters would be in Enugu. An Islamic human rights organization, the Muslim Rights Concern, Murik, has applauded the Kaduna Police Command for the successful raid of Kuduru Forest in Brinigwari, where 250 criminals were killed. The police stormed the forest, which serves as a notorious headquarters of kidnappers and other criminals who has been making life unbearable for citizens, killing 250 criminals in the attack while one policeman died and another later died in the hospital. The group commended the police for their efforts and commiserated with families of the policemen who died during and after the raid, declaring them heroes and patriots. Newly launched Operation Shege Kafasa suffered another setback after Governor Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano State declared that his state had no need for the security outfit. Ganduje stated in Abuja that his administration preferred building a strong synergy between the communities and the security agencies to back in the Operation Shege Kafasa. His statement came Nearly 24 hours after the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Said Abubakar distanced himself and the northern traditional rulers from the security outfit, which was launched on Wednesday as a brainchild of a coalition of northern groups to serve as a counterpoise to the Western Nigeria security network, codenamed Operation Amoteku. Manchester United will include Odion Igalo in the squad for their Europe League clash with Club Bruges next week after being left out of the group of players that travelled to Mabella last weekend over coronavirus alert. Igalo is among the travellers to the UK from China being monitored for 14 days period which runs out on February 16 although he did not go into quarantine. The 30 year old moved to Old Trafford on a six month loan and is expected to make his debut against Chelsea in the Premier League. On the foreign scene, African leaders on Monday condemned US President Donald Trump's Mid East peace plan as illegitimate, taking advantage of an African Union summit to voice solidarity with Palestinian cause. AU Commission Chairman Moussa Faki Mahamat told assembled heads of state that the plan unveiled in late January represented the obtained violation of multiple United Nations and Africa Union resolutions. The proposals include giving Israel the green light to annex settlements in the occupied West Bank, the largest part of the territories the Palestinians see as their future state. The outgoing AU chairman, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, said in his remark on Sunday that the Palestinian cause will always be in the hearts and minds of the people of Africa, while his successor, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, compared Trump's proposals to regulations in place during the country's apartheid region. And that's the quick news on television Nigerian. Thanks for watching. I am Charles Ibe.